السلام علیکم فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو سیول انجینئرز یوٹیوب چینل وتھ دی نیو لیکچر ڈیر فرینڈز ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر وی ار گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس اباؤٹ ٹپس فار ڈیزائن اف ار سی سی بیم سو ان دس ویڈیو یو ار ایبل ٹو لرن ہاؤ ٹو فائنڈ سائز اف بیم مینز ڈیپتھ اف بیم اینڈ بریتھ اف بیم آلسو اماؤنٹ اف اسٹیل فار ڈفرنٹ ار سی سی اسٹرکچر اینڈ تھرڈ نمبر اف اسٹرپس ان دس بیم سو if this video is helpful for you so must like this video or if this video is not helpful for you so you can dislike this video and remember accept my one request if you are new on this youtube channel so must subscribe this channel and there is a bell icon near with subscribe button red subscribe button press that bell icon then you will get notification about any video so let's get start tips for design of rcc beam so first step or in first step I will show you how to find size of beam means depth of beam and also breadth of beam. So formula to find depth of beam. Minimum depth is equal D. Depth of beam is equal L divided by 16. L is a length of beam. This is the long section for beam which length is 5 meter. So I will find depth of beam for 5 meter length RCC beam. So you can use formula L divided by 16. So L is a length of beam. So I can write here 5 meter length of beam divided by 16. So we can get with this formula depth of beam. Depth of beam. So is equal it will give us 0.31 meter. So say 30 cm. Okay? 31 cm but say 30 cm. so we can get the depth of beam with this formula which become 30 cm right now formula to find breadth of beam so b is equal d divided by 1.5 so already d is a 30 cm this one okay 30 divided by 1.5 it will come 20 cm so breadth should be here for 5 meter length length of beam we need breadth of beam 20 cm so with this formula we can find size of beam right if the length is 5 meter if the length is more so you can just use this formula and this we can get from is code okay indian standard code right so and second tip you can learn amount of steel for different structure so maximum percentage of steel is per is code so for beam 4% of x section mean cross section area for slab 4% of cross sectional area and for column 6% of x section cross section area so we have to find amount of steel for this beam so already area of steel should be area of steel sorry area of column area of column which is 30 multiply 20 so it will come 600 cm square this is area of this beam right so we can find out area of steel for this beam and area of the beam is here 600 cm square so find area amount of steel for this beam 0.04 because it's 4% right multiply of cross sectional area cross sectional area of this beam is 600 cm square so we need amount of steel here when you multiply 0.04 multiply 600 so it will give us 24 cm square so this is the amount of steel for this beam
with IS code, Indian Standard Code. So in third tips, you can learn number of stirrups for this beam. So how we can find number of stirrups? This is already length of length of beam. So we need to find number of stirrups. How much numbers of stirrups are required? So this is formula. Length of member. So length of member is member is already here 5 meter. Right? So 5 meter subtract two covers so this is concrete cover so here we have concrete cover right here concrete cover and here so suppose we have to take concrete cover 25 mm suppose so 2 multiply 25 right so it will come 50 and divide by spacing divide by spacing suppose I say I need spacing between two stirrup 30 centimeter 30 centimeter right so right here 30 centimeter so 30 centimeter in foot it will come sorry in meter it will come 0 0.3 plus 1 okay so you can find number of stirrups with this formula length of member subtract 2 multiply cover one side cover concrete cover another side concrete cover and divide by spacing plus 1 so these are the useful tips for design of rcc beam so if you have any question about this video so just comments i will try to reply your answer but don't forget to like this video as if this video is helpful for you thanks for watching see you in next video bye bye